we are already off to a good start. That was Koa just completing the level to upgrade to our sandstone glass blower. And even better, he has just picked up our flower shop upgrade. Well, we will head out and assist him with that in a minute. But for now, let's come in and upgrade this glass blower hut then to level 3. And I've got to admit, Cameron, it's not looking too bad at all inside of here now. Looking not too bad at all. The florist belt that we have is going to be made of a medieval oak style. And I'm just going to very quickly put down this sign here to remind me of that. It's in not too bad of a place here. I will just need to come around and assist Koa with clearing out the area for it. But I'm hoping that this won't take him too long to get up. And while I am out here, I will go check up on what Jelia just completed for us. Which was our Space Wars themed house to tier 3. Okay then, well... This is still looking pretty horrible inside, but it's an extra bed for an extra idiot in the colony. Right beside that build actually, we have, well not Ellison completing a courier set, but that is Ellison completing a courier set. We have Riley out constructing our plantation build. I believe this build was medieval birch or Medieval Birch Alternative, I really cannot remember, but I'll put down a sign anyway and try misspell this again. Yep, okay, that's as good as I'm getting here today then I feel. And Mariah has just finished off a courier's hunt as well there. Holy crap, everyone is completing things so fast here today. That's excellent news actually. Because it means that our delivery system upgrade from last time has already kicked in and is really helping us out here. We have a few things in the open request system which I will need to sort out here. But they are all for builds within the industry district so that won't take too long. Oh that's quite a nice upgrade to that birch courier's hut actually. Let's also come in and upgrade this to tier 3. The recipe for these dark oak frames with some cobblestone in them are fairly easy to then teach to the stonemason, but I have noticed that our crusher is requesting in a lot of cobblestone in order to then turn it into some sand for us. And I have briefly checked all three warehouses and amazingly, we don't actually have that much cobblestone in the colony. So, Miner, what's the story there then? Why do you have a sheep down in here? Uh, you know what, actually, I don't care. This is a relatively new mine that we have set up here. And already she's made good progress with it. I do unfortunately hear a lot of nasties. Holy crap does this go deep but i do believe that we are mining out on this level here actually ah uh, right you have tunneled into a cave system maybe that's why you're not getting us up much cobblestone i think i will need to assign a guard to help protect lorena as she's mining down here because otherwise she is going to be slaughtered to some mobs. I think alongside that note, what I will do is get you mining on a higher level then. Ah, uh, sure. Mine on that level there of 52. That's not as deep and you should then get us out some cobblestone from it. Come to think of it actually, I don't have any spare guards around here. Or indeed have any guard towers built up. Ah, uh, this one is huge, maybe not that one. But let's maybe construct this guard tower here. Whatever style it is. And I will assign the guard from it to protect Lorena when she's down mining. 
Well, unfortunately, I can't really help with the cobblestone needs at the moment, but that is all of the recipes that I need to teach at the moment. So let's head back over and assist with the new florist and plantation build. Which the florist build already has a start being made to it, which is good. We are 3% done with it and just awaiting a few deliveries of items in towards it. That's not a difficult build for Koa to complete there. So let's go over and check on Riley with the plantation. And we are looking not too bad here. We are still in the process of clearing out the floors for the foundation for it. But apart from that, a lot of birch items of course, and nothing that's really going to trap us up here. I suppose for some quick cobblestone, what I could do is mine away some of the stone that we have here. We won't get out a lot from it, but we will need to clear this area eventually for the dyer that will go into it. So two birds, one stone with this I feel. And I caught you in the act this time, Alison. Yes, I was just about to say she's working and is about to upgrade a courier hunt behind her to tier 2. So nicely done then, Alison. Let's upgrade this to level 3 then next. The ninja builder strikes again. I've seen that Koa now has everything in that he's going to require in order to construct the florist build, which is good. But I have also noticed that Ellison has picked up another courier's hut and this is all that she's asking in order to upgrade it. I get the feeling that might be that rather pointless Incan style build that is supposed to be within the warehouse, an Incan style warehouse. Oh well, at least it will be another build up for us whether it is ridiculously pointless or not. Yes, it is that Incan style couriers that she's working on and she just had our forester make some stripped wood for her, which I've picked up and will go hand deliver. There you are then, Alison. You take those in and in fact, just in case you're requesting more, which you're not, let's head over then and check this out. So close there, Alison. So very, very close. But it's actually here that you're supposed to be. N not on that one. Yep, that's a lot more like it than Alison. Right, let's get this thing upgraded to level 3 then, shall we? Which, at least at level 3, there's a few more items that go towards it, but it's still overlay incredibly pointless. Well, I'm just quickly teaching our new overflow sawmill another recipe that was on the open request list. And what I've noticed is that Mariah is next door creating a guard tower here, which the fact that she is digging down, I get the feeling that's then a warped courier set that she's making. On the topic of guard towers actually, I have seen that Ellison has picked up that new one that we just set for construction. It is a Lost City styled guard tower that she's making here, so there's a few interesting items towards it. But overlay, nothing too taxing. So she'll get that up and working for us as soon as possible. Then we will get in a guard to help protect you then, Lorena, and won't that be nice? Riley's plantation build is coming along pretty nicely by the looks of it. She is getting in all of the deliveries that she's going to require for it. So we will get that build up and sorted for us pretty shortly then, I reckon. As for Koa and our flubber shop, we are now over 50% done with it, which is grand. So it's really just, again, another waiting game to have it completed. 
Ellison has made a start on the last city guard tower and in fact is just awaiting in a few more deliveries of her own and that's her going to be sorted. And it's very much the same story here for Mariah and this warped styled guards tower. We are already 50% done with this. So I get the feeling that a lot of these builds here are all pretty much going to finish up roughly around the same time, which is fantastic. And it is Koa first finished, and that is our flower shop now up. Excellent. Let's get this up to level 2 immediately, then to level 3. It is Ellison who is very close in second place to finishing off her upgrade to the Lost City Guard Tower. Nicely done, pal. We have Druv. Druv. I'm not really sure how to pronounce your name, I'm afraid. But we have him in as our guard for this. And what I have done is set him a task of patrolling the mine. And he will come out and do that for us. Just after I come into here and assign him as a guard. There you are then, Lorena. You will now be protected whenever you head further down to mine us up some cobblestone, which will be good. Mariah seems to be having a little bit of an issue here, just finishing off this guard's tower. So what I will do is just cancel it for the moment, then reassign her to come back out and construct it for us. Maybe that will help there, pal. But yes, this doesn't seem to be correct at the moment. Maybe a little kickstart to her AI will fix that. That's a lot more like it then, pal. Welcome back. We are 80% done with this, and hopefully this won't take you too much longer before you do get it up. Uh, and that's Ellison just finished off a courier's hunt there to level 2 or level 3. Damn, the ninja got me again. I have no idea which build she did there, but thank you very much, pal. Oh, it was a brand new Couriers actually, a fortress style one. That's why it was so quick to do. Do we have anyone spare? We certainly do. Rocco, well done son, you are now a Courier. A courier without a warehouse though, I reckon, because I think this one here is full. Yep, I get the feeling that it is. This now seems to have the same issue as the other warehouse. Excellent. Well, I've just unfortunately missed Mariah finishing off her guards tower there, but that's it now up. And Riley is making some pretty good progress here with the plantation but it is going to take a little while longer before she does have it up. So I think on that note, we'll call it there, and we'll pick this up next time, and get more of these builds up and upgraded.